Now, you might have been driving very near Cambridge and noticed some big dishes in a field just outside the city. What exactly are they and what are they looking at in the sky? Well, we've been given exclusive behind the scenes access and they've also let us fly the drone over them so we can give you this spectacular view. It was built before we knew for sure that there were black holes. In the 50s and 60s, the Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory began spotting the most distant objects ever seen. This aerial picking up faint radio waves created by galaxies we didn't know were there. And were they quite shocked that they could see back that far? Absolutely. That was the amazing thing. People assumed when they first observed these radio sources that they were at least within our own galaxy. Um, they didn't know what they were, but when they first were able to pin down that these signals were really coming from a very distant galaxy, that was a real moment of truth for the people working in this field. For a closer look, they built this, the One Mile Telescope. It was hearing signals that began their journey around the time the Earth was born. Sir Martin has worked for 15 years on the controversial question of the origin of the universe. He says that the latest results suggest it began with a big bang and is still expanding. And the old control room's still there. You'd cycle down here on your bike yes. with the paper tape in your right. pocket kind of thing, and th yeah. then what would you do? Well, you'd have to mount it up here, put it onto the tape reader here, and get it tensioned up nicely, uh, and then you'd set up the switches on the machine, and it would all be ready to go. Looking way beyond our solar system, these telescopes helped spot evidence of the Big Bang. Moving the thing wasn't quite so high-tech, though. The man in charge of this gigantic look-and-listen operation uses the relatively simple apparatus of a bike to help him make crucial final adjustments to the movable dish aerial. The boss drove the shunting machine that moved the telescope, with everyone else helping out. But it's not all about the past. This dish is still linked up with Jodrell Bank, a hundred miles away in Cheshire. Here, they're looking at the shadows cast by very distant galaxies. And this is the prototype for a telescope in South Africa, which will look back to the early days of the universe, before any galaxies were formed. We're not here to be a museum piece at all. I mean, everything that people spend their day thinking about is how can we make progress in this subject? How can we learn new things? And our philosophy is that the best way to do that is to build new instruments. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, at the Mullard Radio Astronomy Observatory.